What's up YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. Another new video for you today and another video of me not knowing where to look in the camera. Uh, we're going to we're going to run it. I'm not I'm not going to start it again. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. We've got a video today for all you guitarists out there or all you upcoming guitarists who want to play guitar really loud and don't want to piss off their neighbors or their partner or anybody but anyways before we get into things and show you how to record your guitar through your computer or just play it through your computer i would just ask that you subscribe to the channel below and like this video um well if you like it of course you know i'm going to continue posting logic pro x or, or just musician help tutorials as well as some fun guitar videos here and there whenever time permits but yeah, getting into things today, we're going to go over what you need in order to record guitar through your computer. And also, I'm going to show you how to like how I do it and we'll play a little guitar. That's that's what I'm here for. Yeah, number 1, the first thing you're going to need and you might be shocked about this is a computer. So, I am running this through a <laughs> a 2010 MacBook Pro. 2010, you heard that correctly. It's 2021. I know. This goes to show that you do not need the state-of-the-art, most recent, fancy equipment. And I say this because nothing should be holding you back. Just get in there. We'll show you how to do it. Plug it into whatever you have. And it's going to work, okay? You don't need to go out and buy a new computer for this. I'm running a 2010 MacBook Pro. Number two, and probably the most important, is you're going to need an audio interface. Now, I am running a... M Audio, M Track 2x2 audio interface here. So, what this is, is essentially acts as a preamp to channel the signal through to your computer. Um, you can see here, you know, you plug it into a line input here. You plug that audio interface in through your computer via USB or whatever input um, your audio interface permits. Now, everything I'm showing you today, I'm not sponsored. I'm not getting any reimbursement for any of this. This is just what I do at home, and it's all right in front of me, and it's all what I'm going to be using to show you today. So I use the M Audio interface. Uh, the second thing, uh, sorry, the third, <laughs> three already. The third thing is you're going to need some studio monitors here. I use the JBL MK2s, uh, the five-inch studio monitors. These sound really great. Couldn't recommend these enough. You can use KRKs. You can use whatever you want. Um, for the price, these are one of the top out there. If you're looking for studio monitors, the JBL MK2s are awesome. You're also going to need XLR. I think I said that right. Cables. It's basically a microphone cable to connect your studio monitors to your audio interface. You plug the XLR cable into your studio monitor and into the back of your audio interface. So right behind it here. Now, another option is recording and listening through headphones here. Now, if you wanna be professional, I recommend cross-referencing on studio monitors and headphones. I do both. I just have Beat Studio here, not the best. I'll say that what I have I prefer the studio monitors now if you are using headphones you do need a, uh, a millimeter jack here to plug into the headphone input of your audio interface so you can see right here is the headphone input on mine I plug this jack in here's one example you buy one of these you plug the jack into your headphone input you plug your headphones into the jack and then you shred and one of the final things that we need is a digital audio workstation. Um, so a DAW, today I'm using Logic Pro. I love Logic, it is my favorite DAW to use. So this is how we're going to get awesome sounds through our guitar. So I think I covered everything there. Oh, <laughs> the, the most obvious one that I've forgot. So you need a guitar. I don't know if it was so obvious that I forgot, um, but yeah, you need a guitar. I'm using my PRS here. You can use anything. You can go to anywhere and buy a guitar as long as it... Actually, no. You can use an acoustic guitar if you mic it up. You also are going to need an instrument cable to plug your guitar into your audio interface. This video is already going on longer than I would like, but I'm not going to start it again. So, next up here is... Getting sounds, playing your guitar. So I've got a DAW, my, my Logic pulled up here. 
This is just, you know, a blank clean slate. I've just opened Logic. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add in, you know, a, a track here. You can add in instruments, MIDI. I'm today for this example just going to be using an audio track. So you can use guitar or bass. Essentially what that does is it just loads a patch for you already. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a blank channel strip through audio to show you how to set it up. So I'm just going to select create here. Now, you may plug your guitar in and not hear anything, and that's what I did too when I started. So a couple things that you're going to want to note here. We need to tell our computer that we are recording and we want to signal audio through our interface and not our internal sound through our computer. So if I click Logic Pro at the top here, go into Preferences, we have Audio. This is where we're going to want to configure our audio interface. The two you're going to want to look at here is going to be output device and input device. This is super obvious. Input is what's the sound coming into your computer. Output is the sound being pushed out. So I want to find my audio interface wherever it may be here. In this case, mine's the M-Track 2x2. I'm going to click it for input. And I'm also going to click it for output, but I'm not going to because I'm recording a video and I want you to hear the internal audio. But if I wasn't recording a video, which is 99% of the time, my output's also going to be my audio interface. So once we've, once we've channeled those two, we are going to want to plug our guitar's instrument cable into the audio interface and also into our guitar. And now we're going to get into the fun stuff. I'm actually going to pick up my guitar. And I'm going to plug it in because I forgot to do that. <laughs> Maybe I need this video too. Anyways, my guitar has been plugged in here. I am ready to start rocking, but I'm playing and nothing's coming out. This is a very common problem that we see as well. What we're going to need to do here is, do you see this I? This is signifying input monitoring. We want to select I in order to hear our guitar. And the reason for this is we may have four, we may want to quad track guitars. We may want to do left and right panning. We want to double guitars, whatever we want to do. Logic doesn't want to play all those through at once. We want to signify what audio track we want sound coming from. In this case, I only have one, but I still want to put input monitoring on. So if I start playing my guitar, you'll be able to hear a little something. Ryan, that sounds terrible. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how bad that sounds. Yeah, I know, I'm very aware it sounds terrible. This is the next step that we're going to use here. We're just getting a DI signal right now. There's no processing put on my guitar. It doesn't sound good. I'm a metal guitarist. I need a little more juice. Audio effects here. This is where we're going to plug in our channel strip and what we want, plug-in wise. So if you're a new Logic user and you just want to start playing, Amps and pedals, you're going to want to use Logic's amp designer and pick an amp. Um, you can also load pedals in. Now, this is garbage. I hate it. I'm not going to use amp designer. I don't like the sounds that come out of it for heavier music. You can get some good clean tones here, but for heavy music, the distortion is an absolute nightmare and it's horrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a third-party plugin for my amp. It's very simple. It's the exact same thing. I'm just going to use Neural DSP's Archetype Gojira. I love this plugin. It's probably my favorite right now. So now that this plugin has been loaded in, I'm going to play a little guitar for you and you're going to be able to see how much better this sounds. <laughs> Yeah, sounds way better. Now, there's just one thing that I want to quickly note that a lot of people don't know when they start out, and that is going to be impulse responses. 
Now an impulse response is basically just a replication of the audio from a mic'd up cab. Now my plugin has an impulse response built in. If you use Logic Amp Designer or just a third party amp head, you wanna pair that with a cab that actually sounds good and not like garbage. Now my recommendation for impulse response loaders is going to be in STL tones. The Ignite NAD IR is awesome. So if I load that in my channel strip right under my amp sim, this is where I'm able to load in a variety of different amp sims in order to get the best sound out of my guitar. Now, I don't need to use this because my amp sim already has it built in, but if you're having trouble getting a good sound from what you have in there, get a good amp, uh, sorry, get a good impulse response and load it in under your amp sim. Now we can get into further videos about, you know, how to mix guitars, how to subtract if EQ, some added if EQ, how to make it sound great. This was just the basics. Um, look out for a future video regarding how to mix guitars, but I hope that helped. And, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the chat in the comment box below. I'm more than happy to answer them. If you like this video, once again, I just ask that you subscribe to the channel um, and leave a quick like on the video below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.